What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Sackchester once again and today we will be having a look at this multi-feature section right here where you can easily include a couple of icons which are fully customizable. The color is changeable as well and what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it into something like this today. It serves as an about section, as a store I do for a client of mine and here I change the background and I'll turn them into white because I think it looks quite nice with the rest of the colors of the store little African basket store and I'm going to show you in a few easy steps how you can do that for your very own store. Alright, first thing we're going to do is head onto the Shopify app store and get the section store app if you haven't done so already and then we're going to head on over to apps right here where we can open up the app and we're going to click on explore sections where we should be able to find it with the help of our search bar. A little typo there but that is the one. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free, but this is one of our premium sections. That's why we charge a one-time fee of $9. It means if you bought it once, you're going to own the section forever, and you're not going to need a developer to do that for you. And in the end, you still have the upper hand because you can customize everything. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. After successfully downloading it, you head back to the home area of the app where you have to add the section to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. And then you can just simply open up the editor of your choice, also the down light theme, the one you installed the section for. Then you head back to the theme editor. I've already opened this one, so I just have to open up a certain part of the store. Like I said already, it's the About Us page. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to remove the one you saw in the beginning. So it was that one. And it just delete it all so we can start completely from scratch Let's save it up and now I'm gonna go here click on add section and type in feature it's the feature 7 and there we're gonna be able to see the default version I wanna have displayed four of those ones and the first thing I want to do is actually change the background color of the whole thing so I'm gonna go to section background and use this color and then also the items background is something I would like to change so I'm also gonna set that to the brown tone so we have it like that the heading color of the items is something we would like to change and the item text color and also the pagination but that's something I'll get to in a second so if you have more products stacked on top of each other actually more items you can scroll through the whole thing we're going to scroll all the way to the top. There's a few things I would like to explain, like the heading size, how big that one is, how many items you want to display per row. So if I do three here, it's just going to break over. And the gaps between the items, something you can change as well. There's a lot of stuff which is possible. You can also have the whole thing as a slider. So let's say you're putting two on desktop right here, and then it interacts as a slider. Let's just save it all up so we make sure the section is actually doing what we want it to do. It's looking good, sweet. And then here are some general margins, how big you want the blocks to be, and the image in that case. And yeah, that is looking pretty good already. I'm just going to scroll all the way through this. Here are some general colorizations you can change as well. And then the last thing I would like to do also change the background of the icons right here and give you a little option what you could also do so you have a huge variety of items and icons you can choose from like here or you could also include your own ones vegan produced in that case so it's updating light you can see that as well and here you can change the sub headline so the blocks are individually changeable so if we put it on white you can see it's look like that and i'm going to do that on all the other ones as well so I'm going to set it all to white and just leave the text like that to not take away too much of your time. But at the end of the day, you can just customize it to your likings. And now we did set it all to white. Let's save it all up. And you could easily just change the position of the whole block as well, which I would like to show you right here. So if I want to drag it up here, I can do that as well. I'm just going to give this a little save. And then we're going to have a look at it in the live version. It's the one I've opened up here already. Let's just give that a little reload. And here we should be able to see the finished section. And with that being done, 
we are at the end of this video and I hope you guys found that useful and if you have own ideas of suggestions and sections you would like us to build always feel free to leave them in the comment section and that being said have a good one guys and peace out